So we're here today at the uh, Cockshoot Wetland Restoration Site where we are in the final stages of completion of the restoration works which have been ongoing since June, so only a few more weeks to go until completion. The project started in 2019 with colleagues from Lewis District Council just generally taking a walk with other partners and they included the Environment Agency, the South Downs National Park and the Ooze and Aders Rivers Trust. And the purpose of the walk was to look at the existing chalk streams that run through Lewis, there's the Winterbourne stream and the Cockshoot stream, and just look at what improvements generally could be considered in the future. We came down to the Cockshoot stream and instantly everything made sense that we could potentially do this amazing wetland creation project. Ooze and Ada Rivers Trust then looked at, started looking at the feasibility of the project. Uh, the South Downs National Park Authority were able to give us some funding to make that happen and a lot of work went into just seeing if we had a viable project. Working closely with other partners um, we then engaged with a designer and that was Seabeck Eco Engineering to come up with a design. There was a lot of work done through the planning process through the National Park Authority and other stakeholders. The initial issue with the channel was that due to its plan form and lack of diversity in its form that there was very little ecological value that was primarily presenting in the form of an invasive species called parrot's feather which uh, has dominated the channel and really has stopped any other species of value establishing within the uh, habitat. We've done all the protected species surveys and we've surveyed for the species that classify as a triple SI both within the site and in the surrounding ditch network so we're aware of things that may be present that not actually on the site at the moment. The design has accounted for the habitat niches and requirements of these species and we're now building and designing something that will be suitable for their return. We would expect these species to return over differing timescales. We'd expect the dragonfly species to return quite quickly. However, things like the lesser ram's horn snail, we would expect to take quite some time to return if it's still present on the brooks at all. We went through a procurement process and engaged Ebsford Environmental to deliver our project. And they've been on site since the 5th of June uh, and doing a fantastic job in delivering our project. 80% of our sites that Epson Environmental work on are within riparian zones, so we've gained extensive experience on things such as downstream pollution, working within a watercourse and flood mitigation, so all that kind of comes hand in hand of able to be flexible to work with, with the client and making sure a job runs successfully. Well, within a triple SI it's just first important to understand why and in here it's triple SI is because of the ditch systems. Essentially it's important to us that we mitigate any impact to that and the surrounding area. So it's through comprehensive rams, communication, just everything is just intensified on a triple SI. Flow through this part of the countryside is, is quite important. Historically, this is a tidal area. Uh, evolution's occurred, this area's dried out, and it's become more of like a marshland, hence the reason for the development of the drainage network to facilitate agricultural purposes. That drainage network now provides a key network of water for downstream land users. Retaining that connectivity between this channel and the downstream drainage network uh, is an important part of this project. Obviously this is an amazing project, it's a fantastic piece of partnership work across loads of different organisations and it's so important for the people of Lewis, it's a really popular spot, people walk their dogs here, it's a, it's a fantastic focal point and it's also got such amazing benefits for our local nature and wildlife. Working with a contractor such as Ebsford is, you know, brings great peace of mind uh, for both the client and the designer. Uh, they are a contractor that understands the intricacies of working in the dynamic environment and the ecological considerations that need to be made during the design process. Uh, this project holds a, a, a very great place in our heart. We've worked here for four and a half years and I think being a, a rare habitat, being a rare chalk stream that was so degraded, it's actually really important to be able to fix these kinds of problems and work with across the range of partners that we have done and the expertise uh, that we've all learned from each other has been a really, really great experience.